gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got Ben from Rapid Visa here again. Ben, thank you for joining us again to answer some questions. Yes, hello from Las Vegas. Cool, okay, so here's a question for you. Um, does the age difference affect the visa process? So does a large age gap, is it harder to get a visa um, processed or pushed through or approved? Yeah, excellent question that we get probably every day here. Uh, the short answer is no, but the longer, more complicated answer is there uh, are age gaps. So, what, so what's large, of course, is the first question. Ten years is not large in this business. We, those are extremely common. Um, Fifteen years. Once you get twenty years or more, that's what we would call a large gap. You know, under twenty years. Nobody pays attention to it. They go right through every day, all the time. I brought my wife here on a fiance visa. She's 24 years younger than me. But we were, our, our interview was maybe three minutes long and we were approved. So now, but once you approach, once you approach 40 years and we see those two, we probably do one a week where, where, where those guys may be 60 and the, and, the, and the ladies maybe 21 or something. Then we still see very high approval rates. However, in those cases, you're going to need a little more evidence because, again, they're looking for fraud. They want to make sure not only are you not selling a green card, not, not just that kind of fraud. They want to make sure that the young person is not frauding the older or the older person is not fraud. You know, so they're just going to look at it closer. And so you, what we tell people, when we get somebody 35, 40 years age gap, we say, look, you're going to need more. We need more pictures. We need a lot of correspondence to again show that we are excited to be a new couple here. Uh, so you're going to have to work a little harder to prove your case. So when we get those here in our office, for instance, if there's a 40 year age gap and, and, and we only have maybe, you know, a, a thin stack of evidence, we're going to say, hey, what else do you have? Do you have emails? Do you have chat logs? Do you have more pictures? How many trips have you made to see, to see her or vice versa? So we want to see more evidence. And when we have good, strong evidence, we see absolute, uh, absolutely really the same uh, 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 approval rate. However, let me say, there is some discrimination, and discrimination is a, is a tough word, but I absolutely believe it's just nothing but discrimination. When the female is older than the male by a significant number, we do see a higher denial rate. And uh, we, we really only see that out of Africa. We, it's quite common in countries like Nigeria and Ghana, where you'll have a, a young man, maybe he's 25, and maybe the lady, the U.S. citizen, maybe 40, 45, those get denied um, unreasonably, in our opinion. So, so we think there's some clear discrimination going on there that comes, you know, culturally, we, we're all of us, I think, in pretty much every country, we, we are less uh, used to, it's less common for us to see the age gap going the other way, where the lady is older. And so I think that causes maybe our own prejudices or whatever. I think maybe that's a cause because I can tell you that we see like a 20 year age gap again, as I mentioned, if it, if it, the man is 20 years older than the woman, those go through nothing. Nobody even pays attention to those. But if the lady is 20 years older than men, those get a lot more pushback, a lot more scrutiny and a higher denial rate. So that's what I can say about age. Um, you know, if it's, if it's under 20 years, I, you know, Nobody cares. Nobody. And that's almost the norm. It's it's actually a sm very small number of cases. Uh, I think part of that reason is typically for an American um, to go through all of this. Uh, I, I say trouble. I don't. I don't mean trouble in a negative way. But go through all this work of finding somebody from another country. They're probably at a place in their life. Like my personal story is. I you know I I kind of. Uh, you know, hate, hate to be blunt, I know people will get mad at me, but this is my personal story, so it's true, so I'll say it is. I was just a little tired of what I was finding locally, you know, and, and I thought, gee, uh, you know, <laughs> let me find something different. I, I, that, I feel that, man. I, I feel yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. so, so I, don't, I don't like to make anybody mad, but, but you know, and, uh, and also it takes a little bit of money and a little more stability, and so for whatever reason, we tend to see the U.S. citizen, whether it's male or female, uh, the U.S. citizen just tends to be a little uh, middle age or so, uh, in, uh, or, or even older. So, But bottom line is, if it's under 20 years, I wouldn't worry about the age gap. If it's over 20 years, I still wouldn't worry too much. But you're going to make sure you have some good, strong evidence. Save all those chat logs. Print them out. 
uh, and let your fiance or spouse carry that into the interview to establish, you know, really at the end of the day, nobody wants to pass judgment. Nobody, nobody wants to say, Hey, you're too young to marry this guy. That's not what it's about. They're looking for fraud. They don't want people selling green cards basically. So they're looking for fraud. They're not looking to pass judgment. They're, they don't care. They're just doing their job. They just want to know if you're 20 and the, and the guy's 60, they're, you know, they're going to say, Hey, just like any of us in normal life we might be a little skeptical. It's like, is this guy rich? Is he a movie star? Mm. What, what's going on here? And so you have a little extra work to convince them, no, we're in love. This is the real deal. And so that that's all. Otherwise, they go right through. Wicked. Well, that's a good, um, good answer to a kind of a, I guess, a hot topic. <laughs> yeah, a hot topic. But Ben, thank you for joining us. It, it is. And we get, uh, you know, you get, uh, again, even my personal life, because my wife and I have a, have an age gap, um, it, you know, we get sometimes questions or pushback. Although I will say it's the exact same age gap as my grandparents, and they were both Americans, but they had the same age gap 24 years of my wife and I. It also coincidentally happens to be the, back, the exact same age gap as uh, Donald Trump. I just want to say. <laughs> although I certainly don't want to be compared to that guy. So. <laughs> Thank um, you very much, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.